want to see how the new Microsoft editor stood up to an actual editing test? Well, keep watching because in this video, you will see if it's worth the download or if you're better off editing on your own. Welcome to Techie Tip Tuesdays. Microsoft released its own version of its editing tool, similar to Grammarly, where it claims to offer an intelligent writing assistant that brings out the best writer in you by nailing the basics of spelling and grammar, helping you to write with clarity and to keep your sentence structure concise. So I decided to make a short but informative review of the new Microsoft editor that was released a few weeks ago, available on download from Chrome extensions and can be found as a new tab feature on Microsoft 365. I didn't wanna give you a boring review. I wanted you to see the editor in all its glory. So I'll be testing it out to compare it along with the traditional Microsoft Word spell check feature and with its competitor, Grammarly. The cool thing about editing software is its ability to capture our grammatical mistakes as we type. As you can see in the right panel, Microsoft Editor is ready to alert me of mistakes unlike the traditional spell check feature. I decided to test the spell check feature with the Microsoft Editor feature and although the new editor seemed handier and more user friendly, they both missed the exact same errors. But this is a new feature released literally this month. And you mean to tell me that it left the same amount of errors as the traditional spell check feature? I know I can't be the only one shocked about this. So I decided to see if Grammarly, known as the world's most accurate online grammar editing tool, will recognize the mistakes in this same letter. Grammarly has been advertising online heavily and as a matter of fact, I've been referring my students to download it to help them with their paper submissions. So let's use this same letter and put Microsoft Editor versus Grammarly up to this challenge. But first, let me ask you, who do you think passed our test? But first, look closely at the screen. Can you spot all four of the grammatical and spelling errors in this sentence? not many will be able to even with the use of technology as a matter of fact i'd like you to take the challenge for yourself i'll give you 15 seconds to write the sentence correctly in the comment section along with your answer see how you rate with others around the world as a matter of fact i dare you to share with your friends to see if you can spot all four grammatical and spelling errors I'm quite sure there will be a huge debate on this one. Only one, let's say about one out of 10 people will be able to get this correct. And with the help of technology, it probably wouldn't work at all. I promise you, you can't even use technology to help you correct this sentence. We rely on technology to edit our text, emails, documents, and just about everything. But without it, who really knows their grammar? besides English teachers and the social media grammar gods. I won't reveal the four errors just yet, and I can't wait to see your comments. So let's find out which performed best. When it comes to using the free version of Grammarly versus Microsoft Editor, the best editing tool is neither. Yeah, they both failed my test. Now, if you're only using Grammarly or Microsoft Editor to find basic errors, and you know you can rely on yourself to find errors that bots are incapable of finding, then these are perfect. When it comes to editing, as an educator, we have special editing powers that bots just don't comprehend. So relying on technology 100% of the time could sometimes embarrass you, but it is handy as a second pair of eyes to check errors in the making. In regards to comparison, Microsoft Editor and Grammarly both offer free downloads. They work across Microsoft Office, Outlook, and social media platforms, and they offer paid premium versions. The huge contrast for them is Grammarly only supports English, while Microsoft supports over 20 different languages, and it's cheaper. I will say Grammarly and Microsoft Editor both offer paid premium versions that go a little deeper in catching errors. 
which just may have been useful to catching some of the minor detailed writing errors found in this letter. But I'll leave that task up to you to purchase one of their premium versions and then come on back to this channel to let us know how you like writing with your paid bot sidekick. Inquiring minds want to know. Before you leave, let me know if you like this video. Hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to share your corrections below in the comments to see if you are the one out of 10 that have excellent grammar. And if not, it's okay. You still have the technology to keep you almost grammatically correct. As always, be sure to like this video, share and challenge your friends, and subscribe to my channel so you're not left out on Techie Tip Tuesdays. Don't forget to hit the notification bell in the top right corner. Yeah, over there, right there, there you go. This is how you will receive a notification that a new Techie Tip has been released and you can benefit by watching and staying up to date on technology tips and information for work, life, and entertainment. I hope you enjoyed my video.